I need a paper. I need paper and paper. About six, seven years ago, I was on Facebook and there was a man that was in a High Hopes video for Pink Floyd. It's called Division Bell, the album. And there's a song called High Hopes. And basically, there was a guy on that film called John Foland. And he was on Facebook. And he now is in my front room. And basically, John was the star of that video. And John knows things about Pink Floyd that I don't, because John was in that video. So I'm going to pass you over to my USA friend, John, to tell you, tell, he would tell you how he got into that Pink Floyd video, and he would tell you how we met, and he would tell you why he's here today, because we love each other, and we care about each other, and whatever you think, me and John are very good friends forever. Yes, thank you, Danny. John's like a very good friend of mine, and I know he's, he's hard to misunderstand, but he does have his own issues. He's not perfect, but he's a great friend, and he's a good soul. Thank you very much, Danny. And, and, he, uh, and he truly is. So, John. Well, to start off about the, the albums, I'll say all the albums, but the Division Bell album and High Hopes, but not just High Hopes, the video, the whole album and the concept of the album about the, the uh, voices and the man in the room listening into what's going on. More, oh, more like the wall man than you might expect, but maybe not as distraught and more overcoming than the pink character in the wall film who breaks down and deteriorates into some kind of anger seeking sequence in which he wishes to destroy or fulfill his own fantasies to hate murder or kill or at least boss everyone around and tell them what to do where the album the division bell is more truer to reality with my coming to an alert awareness of god and an acute nature to speak with them and men beyond what anyone had realized before in the future more, more like uh, 1989 being at the cusp of the, uh, of the world with uh, my own spiritual and religious beliefs, even having been, been young, when I was a child I got a fleeting glimpse, and far and away advanced above what people understood or acknowledged in thousands of years, except for maybe Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, and having this for the albums as a prize to myself or repayment from God for getting one die that was the cause I actually claim I had two dies and then by 11 my life was quite hard but I never got a third die even at 21 or after ladies and gentlemen John is my friend for over 7 years on Facebook he came to visit me in Jaywick November last year he stayed with me for a few months and he went with Ashley and he stayed in Jaywick for quite a few months. Then he went to King's Cross. Now he's back in Jaywick. I want to share my friend John with you because I met John through my love for Pink Floyd. Because I love Pink Floyd, I noticed that there was a video called yeah. High Hopes. Yeah, and, jo and John was in that film. And I'll tell you about the John, John, tell my, my friends about High Hopes, the Pink Floyd video that you was in. I had actually rushed God up. I talked about my relationship to God when I started uh, talking to Danny, well, you all and Danny in, the, uh, in this film here we're making now on the phone. Uh, what I had done was actually force God's hand to act in a situation where he had already promised me my own record album when I was a little kid, not with me as a musician, but with me as a subject matter because I was quite... Uh, habitually fantastic about music and charm and cheer from Pink Floyd to you two. Here no, light, light, light. Light, all right. Oh. Thank you. It might be a good artistic uh, moment to, to uh, patently lay it down there before the pencil of our grading, but I would, would be too sensitive about the report. Uh, I had actually asked him for the album in repayment for a die on his own suggestion, like, what would you want to get a die for me or to allow yourself to be murdered? And I said, ah, well, the record album would be good, you know, because I was a fantastic music fan from Dire Straits and the Salt and Swing backwards before Ronnie James Dio and the Man on the Silver Mountain, even though I was only a child. In the, when, in the early days of Pink Floyd out, Martin, not even born yet when the Pirate with the Gates of Dawn came out. 
But I believe that God had it on his mind the idea that uh, the Piper at the Gates of Dawn or the charmed com com uh, concept, the charmed concept that I've claimed the albums hold or that uh, Roger Waters uh, believes is his own personal gift, which it uh, is very much of that nature. And the tender heartedness back in even early, early, early on in Pink Floyd of both Rich Wright and Ginger Gilmore by the time. Uh, uh, they had gone through their proceedings to develop into Pink Floyd from the happier landscape of uh, well, the early years, quite whimsical and fantastic, bar barely out of the reality sort, but probably useless to anyone but me as a spiritual complex, and then into Dark Side of the Moon and the true transformation of Pink Floyd into something revolutionary. Then we have Sid Barrett, the creator, and he made the album called Piper at the Gates of Dawn. And if he never went mad, then Pink Floyd would have gone in another direction. They were always Sid's band. It was only because Sid went mad that they did. They went off track from Piper at the gates of dawn if Sid had kept his sanity if Sid didn't go mad then Pink Floyd would have been a different Pink Floyd a different one that we know now and I do believe that they would have been even better because Sid created Pink Floyd Sid is Pink Floyd okay. can you imagine Pink Floyd with Sid Barrett okay Sid Barrett is gone from Pink Floyd now Pink Floyd is a commercial entity is years in the future. It wasn't it wasn't it wasn't years, like that when five, Sid was there. Five years, five years to it's the colossal Pink Floyd. Five, seven years, ten years before it's Pink Floyd from nineteen sixty-nine. Okay? What can Pink Floyd do, both Nick Mason and Roger Waters, to make money? If they were going to continue to be a band and plot along in their course of unrighteousness, I'm just kidding for the preachers of the time and people who would really take my uh, my sanity plea a little irrationally just for naming a rock band because it, though, in those days most of the churches were Satan and rock there's you know no trust for the the uh, the uh, inner belligerent you know what I mean or uh, the fancy for Roger or the rock band but what can we do to make money Roger's point and problem at the time with this uh, columbering band and by the time they thought about doing movie tra soundtracks whether more or obscured by clouds although obscured by clouds began to take another step in an engendered direction towards something more reality based than let there be more light if you understand what I mean uh, the outer lap, uh, uh, lock of the solar ship uh, sits on Earth, you know what I'm saying? It's something that's not really redundant, too redundant and not creative enough for our life to understand the mis misobligings or total dishappenings of Earth and the fights and arguments and bricks and walls that people build and tear down. And uh, actually, uh, what can we do to make money? Soundtracks. They do soundtracks at the place of or even Rick. Rick and Nick and uh, Rod, Dave and Roger, I'll say it that way, so he's not out of that. But I believe by the time they were touring Adam Hart Mother, David Gilmore would have preferred to quit Pink Floyd at the, I mean, at the enjoyment level that it was to him, in my opinion. I mean, you'll have to ask him and his wife, Polly or, or Ginger, about what they feel so he felt at any of those times of being spoken up or if he would want to talk about it himself. I believe by Adam Hart Mother, he wanted to quit the Pink Floyd and could have just as easily uh, done better with me in my belief that God would give them my die to explain the whole situation from Dark Side of the Moon as if all men or all of us or every man was in the character of my life and what is the proceeding about men in war that drags us into a circumstance where we're all killing each other. And God would allow Roger and, well, Nick, Rick and David to carry on uh, without Roger in the progress of eventually bringing him and all uh, other non-Christians to that point of like what is the vagary of this whole religious movement until I figure or care why I have to be safe from what? Be safe from a die because people I uh, inobligerately sound like I don't know who you are but get the fuck away from me. You know what I'm saying? And so these maddening attitudes of fuck him, you know what's so big about Jack? What's the big deal about, big thing about Danny? What's, uh, you know, this one... The big Danny, thing about Danny is something that I can't tell you about, but it's very big and it goes ding-dong, ding-dong, ding-dong. It's called Pesoma. 
It's called spirit. It's called soul. It's called something you can't buy. That's what I've got. Until someone of a belittling self-esteem thinks themselves more grander than some other wreck and uh, pushes the whole uh, 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 obliterate, I'll say that again just to be relentless about that because I hate that word, but uh, obliges other men to try to find a solution that's not beating someone's head in by the time people push a fight to the point that some the, the, the some others, the others, every other, it's like something has to be done if it's not a war. And here, this is for Roger Waters and David David Gilmore, okay? David Fuller's not the one. David Gilmore, uh, Roger Waters. Here, uh, the point is to turn the other cheek and be kind as if you would in a simple punch. If you are killed and rise again and come back from the dead, even if the fight continues against you on a second die, and keep coming out to turn the other cheek, but at what point again, even, uh, uh, even without a die, would you say, I've been too I look after my brother John. You pick out things that you see, but you don't know John. John was in the Pink Floyd video, High Hopes, for the division bell. I'll, I'll finish up this He's one. a beautiful man, and I love him. And please get off his back. They, uh, John is a good man, and I believe in John. So please, like, get off his back and be nice to John, because John will be nice to you. There's no need to be rude to John. John was in High Hopes, Pink Floyd music video, and he loves his wife. He doesn't deserve any shit from anyone. Please look after John. John will look after you. Amen. Treat everybody as you yourself would like to be treated. Please go a bit easy on John. He has feelings, and we don't need anyone's anger or antisocial behaviour. John is my friend, and I believe in John. And guess what? John believes in me. Shine on John. John. You believe in me? Yes, I do. I believe you believe in me? I believe on you since the Happy Club and you, I saw, met you on Facebook. Yeah, but you, you believe in me? Yeah, Messiah on this earth, on the end of this earth, amen, on this end of the earth. <laughs> John believes in me and I'm going to repay his loyalty and I will look after John. So please, if you've got a problem with John, message me and I will answer it because John is not nothing wrong with him. He's just special and so am I. So how about you appreciate people like John and you appreciate people like me and then we can all get along because we need to be appreciated because we're rare and we care and we're fair and we share. I shine on. Wouldn't be one I didn't say. Somebody's got a one pound note. Somebody's got a one pound note. You gotta really let this shit lay until somebody gets in the fray with us. You know, I'm really about to explode. Y'all be knowing. You know, and I won't keep going. It's resistance.